Did Jay-Z finally confirm his mistress or mistresses after the success of Beyonce's Lemonade release? Plus guys, what is up with the rumor that Kourtney Kardashian is having plastic surgery to stay hot, hot, hot for the beef? Ooh, and is the world about to see a Kris Jenner sex day? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got all the answers coming up on Rumor Patrol. You guys are back at Rumor Patrol. What's up? I'm Jocelyn. This is Ryland. Yes. The angel baby queen slash king of my life. And that is us. today's a big day for you, actually, because you're leaving here and going to where? The RDMAs, the Radio Disney Music Awards. Hopefully, we'll get to talk to a lot of stars and it will be fun. But before we get to that, we got to focus on all of this Becky, Beyonce, Jay Z drama. I hope Becky's there. Me too. Kicking it off with rumor number one and legitimately the only thing anyone in the world, <laughs> if I like you that is, has been talking about this week, Beyonce's Lemonade. Is it really true? Is it true, Riley? Because you have to give me the details. That Jay-Z is now confirming his mistress, mistresses, thanks to the success of this crazy visual album. Okay, well, things are getting crazy in the world all because of this. The impact that Beyonce has when she touches anything is insane. I wish she would touch me. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so you know she dropped her visual album that many are speculating is about the stages of grief that she went through when Jay-Z had cheated on her all the way to forgiving him and kind of justifying it because of Blue. Uh, many are saying that it's not just about their relationship, but also about her parents' relationship and okay. a mixture of other right? people. Okay. Um, but in one of the songs called Sorry, uh, the whole Becky thing came to fruition where she said, looking at my watch, he should have been home. Today I regret the night I put that ring on and then he better call Becky with the good hair. He better call Becky with the good hair. There are just so many Becky references <laughs> happening. First off, my mind goes straight to Aunt Becky, obviously from Full House. Oh, you, you know, would go Fuller there. House is happening. <laughs> then it goes to Taylor Swift and that whole Becky situation that took over Tumblr like a year and a half ago. And now Beyonce's got a Becky thing happening. Uh. But Becky is not just one woman, it's like womankind or well, something. Well, uh, okay, some are speculating that Becky is a ton of different women that Jay had cheated on her with, so Becky is like the term. Who cheated but, on Beyonce though? I, mm, I don't get it, is this, mm, is this true? I mean, it isn't confirmed, but this whole album is seemingly about that. So everyone is questioning who the F is Becky. So Rachel Roy was the first suspect and she kind of fueled the drama by posting a picture that said good hair, don't care, and then she deleted it. And if you remember Rachel Roy, she's a fashion designer and a former intern of Jay. So it does make sense that like, I don't know, like people that work with people have the inside. Plus this rumor has been circulating that they hooked up for a while. Mm -hmm. Why in the world would you want to fuel that fire unless you had something up in the mix? Like I would try to stay as far away from this Becky drama as possible. I would too, but I guess maybe she wanted attention. But like Beyonce fans are not people you want attention from in a negative spotlight. They are going crazy at people that they mm -hmm. think are Becky. It is not good. But then she posted to Twitter after getting death threats. She was getting oh, death I'm threats. I'm not surprised. The Bajancy. <laughs> the Bajancy. And she said, I respect love, marriages, families, and strength. What shouldn't be tolerated by anyone, no matter what, is bullying of any kind. Okay, but here's the crazy thing, Ryland. Isn't there more than just one celebrity, AKA Rachel Roy, that's been linked to this Becky sitch? Yeah, okay, so there was also Rachel Ray, which is kind of just funny. Like, this was just- <laughs> The cooking uh, lady? The cooking Rachel lady Rachel Ray? a morning talk show. <laughs> People got her confused with Rachel Roy because it's so oh. similar. They went to her Instagram and this girl probably <laughs> couldn't even open her phone without thinking that she was literally going to die. What do you think <laughs> happened? She's like at home and suddenly she's just getting like death threats for like Rachel Roy it sounds like knows what's up I Rachel know. Roy is like I'm just trying to make some pasta and get some OVO she's like I'm or just trying EVO to or whatever it's called interview people on my morning talk show okay but more realistic than that is actually Rita Ora oh, and if you snap. remember Rita Ora is actually like Jay-Z's protege like she He's been mentoring her mm -hmm. forever. And she kind of stupidly, well, in my opinion, kind of stupidly fueled the rumors as well. So first she posted a Snapchat wearing a bra with lemons after Lemonade was dropped. And then the very next day, she wore one of the dresses that B rocked in her formation video. I 
feel like that's just complimentary. Okay. Like maybe so. she's trying to help promote Beyonce. But I see where you're coming from with this, and I feel like this rumor has also been circulating for a while. So again, I would just try to be like, scoot, scootin' over to the side. Okay, well, what you're saying, I also am latching onto a little bit because she actually, a while back, got really mad at Jay-Z's label because she's attached to that label and mm -hmm. she actually filed a lawsuit against him. Really? Because he wasn't paying enough attention to her music, supposedly. I'm thinking all of these references to Lemonade uh, could be in support of Beyonce rather than against exactly. Beyonce. Exactly, and like a way to build a bridge mm -hmm. of love to Beyonce. Yeah, and she also took to Twitter denying the rumor, saying, I never usually address tabloid gossip, but let me be clear, these rumors are false. I have nothing but the utmost respect for Beyonce. Let's continue enjoying lemonade. Listen, when you get lemons, when your life is full of lemons, when your mogul husband is supposedly cheating on you and you're literally the hottest woman on the planet, the thing you can do to get respect from me is to make lemons. Eliminate out of lemons. Exactly! <laughs> it took exactly. me a second, but I came Wait, around. What do I need to do? I need to make lemonade. All of this is insane. Jay-Z has not <laughs> spoken out to confirm, but he's also not denied. And he's also in the visual album. So what I'm thinking is he probably did cheat on her, and this is probably her way of coming to terms with this and like her therapy, essentially. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking he's like, well, if she's gonna release this to the world, I still have the girl, so I'm winning. Let her do her process. But where it has me like, what? Is that Beyonce's such a private person that I can't believe she's airing her dirty laundry like this. It is really interesting. I think it's really smart because a lot of people connect with what she's going through. And as she's gotten older, and ever since she separated from her dad as her manager, mm -hmm. she has become a lot more free. Like she did that HBO special a few years right. ago where she talked about having a miscarriage. So maybe now that she's like in her 30s and still super banging, she's like, I'm just gonna be myself. Well, I also think she's gonna let her music speak for itself though. I don't think Beyonce is the kind of person that's gonna go do a press tour no. and talk about all of this publicly. Mm -mm. And I also think Becky is probably an unknown person to the public. I bet it's like a nanny or somebody that worked behind the scenes or a makeup artist or something because I don't think Beyonce would ever reveal who Becky no. actually is. I don't think the person's name is Becky. I think Becky is just like, <laughs> drawn out of a hat, or maybe she likes Full House. I also think it ties into the whole elevator situation when Solange kicked. Beat the crap out of yeah. Jay-Z in an elevator at the Met Gala, because then, I remember. Then, yeah, how could you forget? Because then they were also rumored to be breaking up, but then they probably went to therapy, they stayed together, and then this album is like overcoming it. They're, all, they're obviously fine and doing well, or she wouldn't release something like this. All I have to say is lemonade is everything and I've been too busy sipping on it to care about anything mm, else. That yellow dress though. But is this rumor true? No, we don't know who Becky is. It's totally false. false. Are you Becky? I'm Becky. <laughs> All right, moving away from Beyonce, it wouldn't be Rumor Patrol if we didn't talk about Justin Bieber. Uh, so is it true that Kourtney Kardashian wants to get plastic surgery to stay hot for Justin Bieber? Oh, I'm a believer about this. Oh my gosh, all of this is so stupid. Just last week on this show, we were reporting that Justin Bieber wanted to spoil Courtney for her belated 37th birthday. <laughs> like, is that really a story? I mean, apparently it is, because we wasted our time talking about it. <laughs> wasted? I think that was time well spent. Jocelyn. I'm glad. We, we, okay, maybe it was a good investment of our time. Um, so now, flash forward to this week, and Courtney is following up her 37th birthday by allegedly getting plastic surgery to stay hot for the Biebs. Wait. This comes to us from very reputable outlet, Life and Style. Okay, so right? what are they claiming? So they are claiming that Courtney quote, looks smoking hot for a 37 year old mother of three, but that she's afraid that isn't enough. And as far as Bieber goes, quote, with all the models half her age Justin has been with, Courtney is feeling insecure. The article goes on to talk about the fact that she's been working out and really tightening things up, but that now she has some loose skin that she wants to like cut off. And this is all according to <laughs> an insider. Okay. Like, all of this is so ludicrous to me, AKA someone at Life and Style who has a really good imagination. That's what I think is going on. Um, I just don't know how they can publish these stories. Like, who over there is being like, who A is making them up, and then who B is like, yeah, let's run with that. I think, <laughs> let's run with that. Let's do that. And that she's doing all of this to hold on to Justin. Okay, let me just break this down for a second for you Please guys. Please do. Kourtney Kardashian is 37. Has she, two kids. She has three kids. Three kids. Not two, she has three kids. Ooh. Okay, that third one slipped in there without us catching it. She's, Are they all of Lord Disick? They're all Lord Disick's children. She has a complicated full life. 
she's very busy shooting an extremely successful show you might have heard of, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And Justin Bieber is the biggest pop star in the world and on a massive sold out tour. Do they even have time to text message each other? Uh, they might have time for that, but do they have time to like actually meet up and canoodle and- And talk about getting word? plastic surgery, plonking themselves down onto a chair to hang out? No. And if Kourtney Kardashian was gonna get plastic surgery, she'd get plastic surgery. It wouldn't be just because of the beeves, it'd be because she's on camera every day and she feels like she needs it even though she doesn't. She doesn't, she looks great. And Gossip Cop, thank God, is shutting the story down like they always do saying that Courtney has no plans to get plastic surgery for Justin or for any other man. And the site also added a fun little tidbit that it wasn't too long ago, if you have forgotten, that Life & Style also reported that Courtney had been impregnated by Justin, but now she's so tightened up that, you know, <laughs> I, I'm just, just saying, so funny. can you imagine the person's job at, say, Gossip Cop that has to call a source of Kourtney Kardashian and be like, hey, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just calling to see if this rumor's true about Kourtney getting plastic surgery for Justin Bieber? Like, what the hell? I think it would be so fun. I worship Gossip Cop. I would love to work over there because they are so passionate about shutting the rumors down. Like, at least I, they do that I feel like real. we're more, like, just laughing at this stuff, and I feel like Gossip Cop takes it very seriously, which I can appreciate because we, we appreciate you on this show. Yeah, we appreciate that they're actually real. We also appreciate the other outlets that give us the BS stories to talk about here. Exactly, because it brings us a few laughs every <laughs> single weekend. So, but as far as Courtney getting plastic surgery so that Justin will still think she's a hot potato, a, a hot ticket, <laughs> this rumor you guys so is so false. Awesome. And just when you haven't gotten your Kardashian fix, this comes into the mix. Finally, 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 there are rumors of a Kris Jenner sex tape? What? But, <laughs> but wait for it. When I saw this headline, I almost died. It's with her former husband, Robert Kardashian. Oh, that's interesting because I do remember on Keeping Up With The Kardashians a while ago, she had talked about making one with Bruce, who's now Caitlyn. What about her current boyfriend, Corey Gamble? I don't know anything about that. I'm sure they have a sex Why tape. do people keep making sex tapes? And well, why are they being shopped around? Well, because they're famous AF and they're reality stars. Don't ever make a sex tape, Rylan. Well, too late. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't have a sex tape. I've never even had sex. Um, but, okay, there was this guy named Ian Harplin who wrote a Kardashian book called The Kardashian Dynasty, exposing some of their biggest secrets. Mm -hmm. And then he said, he is now coming out with this sex tape news of Chris's. And he said that he got this news from Jackie Collins, who passed in 2015, but claimed that the Kardashian family were no strangers to sex tapes and Robert Kardashian, whose hobby was photography, used to film some of his dalliances. Dalliances. Da what's dalliances? dalliances. It's something only Jackie Collins could say. Do you know who she was? I have no idea. Oh who my Jackie gosh, Collins she was so was. mildly British, I think. And dalliances. It's something that someone very regal would say. Wait, is that an English word? I, it's in English, like our language we speak. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But it basically means like you know, you're like out there frolicking with people. Okay. And to me, it sort of insinuates extramarital going on. But it could also mean like dalliances <laughs> are like sexy and fun with your wife. Well, apparently- but Why is Jackie are... Collins <laughs> talking about the Kardashians is the bigger question. I have no idea. And unfortunately she has passed. So, right. so this we can't is ask living her. on right. her generation. Apparently she passed this information to Mr. Ian. Now Ian's coming out. And they're also saying that um, that he's learned that the Kardashian source is saying that these films still exist and are currently being t touted. Touted? Touted. This is a lot of big words on this show. <laughs> Dalian being touted. I'm sorry, I need to go back to school. Uh, but saying that they're being shopped in the European markets right now. Wow, see, this is a very French situation. It's very European. Personally, I do think that she probably does have a sex tape. I mean, let's think of Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. who basically blew up because of the sex tape. Right. Yes, she had a pilot of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, but in the pilot, they decided to air the sex tape. And I think that was a choice that they- like, Didn't have to make. They chose didn't to Didn't have to make, they chose to make that. And that's really what put Kim Kardashian on the mm -hmm. map. And I think her momager, Chris, was probably behind that. Mm -hmm. So do I think that Chris possibly has a sex tape too? Well, knowing that she's so lenient with mm -hmm. all of these kinds of things, I do. Uh, the question is, does somebody have their hands on it? And will they actually get a big payday to air it? I don't think. I just feel like it's in very poor taste. First off, the Kardashians are over the sex, ta sex tape thing. Mm -hmm. Kim is so sick of talking about it, yeah. as she said, recently on her blog. Also, Chris is like in her early 60s. She's a successful businesswoman. 
and Robert Kardashian passed away. So I feel like out of respect for him, it would be super weird to release yeah. a sex tape featuring him. Ooh. And I just Plus, think like, she's- the resolution would be so bad. So bad that you probably couldn't even see anything. And I think Chris is such a good manager that I don't think that she would let this happen for herself. Oh, she would cut a bit. She would that control would that situation. Unless she wants it to come out, in which case we'll all be seeing it soon. Wow. <laughs> Excitement. Also, I mean, she might want it to come out. She might have had a young, hot bod. She might have been a hot ticket. She <laughs> was a hot ticket back in the day. She still is. But do we think that this sex tape is actually being shopped around in Europe? Probably not. Do I think it's existent in the world? Yes. So true. Rylan put a little surprise under his bum over here. Ooh. Um, you guys, it's been such a fun episode of Rumor Patrol. I know you've got to go head out to the RDMAs. I do. Who are you like dying to talk to? Well, I really want to talk to Dea. We missed her on Clever Now, so I'm excited to talk to her there. She's mm -hmm. also performing, and I just hope a lot of the young hot Hollywood stars will be there. A lot of the young hotties, like Sabrina Carpenter, is going to be performing. Yeah, I like dreaming big, like Selena Gomez. It Selena Gomez. Selena what would you ask her? I don't even know. I probably, I probably just not do the interview and ask for a selfie. You know what you should ask her? What? You should ask her if Justin Bieber is dating Kourtney Kardashian. Boinking. Oh my Kourtney gosh, Kardashian. boinking. That's my question to you guys. Are you so sick of this Kourtney Justin story? Because do they even have time to like text message? Well, I don't know. I think they probably do. Do I think they're hooking up? Absolutely no, not. No. Maybe I've blinked once. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think about all of this lemonade drama and this Becky situation. I want to know who Becky is. Please come forth and talk to all of us. Oh my gosh, Becky, give us the exclusive. Also, why is the name Becky? Why isn't the name like Jennifer or Rachel I or like Samantha? Becky. I think it rings right off the tongue. It's a very basic name. Mm -hmm. Very basic. Anyways, you guys, that does it for us here on Room Patrol. Follow us on the social medias. Ryland is there, I am there, and um, we'll see you there. <laughs> Bye! See ya. Bye, you guys. Before you go, click to the left to find out, is Camila Cabello really leaving 5-H? Ooh, that's scary. Also, click over to the right to see if Tyga is dumping Kylie for Black China. Oh my gosh. What?